Jack, you've grown up, I guess, as a Tennessee fan, so finally getting here, starting to wear orange shirts and things like that. It's got to be special for you. Yes, sir. Um, I was very excited to uh, finally be able to come up and be a member of Team 119. You know, I've grown up, like you said, a Tennessee fan my whole life. I bleed orange. And, you know, finally being up here and living out my dreams, it's just, it's, it's dreams turning into reality. You still have the first letter you got from Tennessee? I do. I have all of my letters. You know, my mom, she filed them up in a little filing cabinet. So I have everything, all the handwritten notes the coaches sent me. And, um, like, you can see the progress from when I was a sophomore to when I was a senior of how our relationship started off kind of like, hey, how are you doing, to, like, more in-depth and um, telling, like, how much they can't wait and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I've, I've kept all those letters, and I'm all cherished in the rest of my life. Can you remember when you finally did get the offer and what that was like? Uh, yes, sir. I was um, a sophomore in high school. It was during spring practice. Uh, Coach Martinez had just been down to watch practice. And I was, it was maybe an hour before practice was starting. I was still in my uh, last class of the day. And our head football coach came up to me and said, hey, UT, they want you to call him. So I called him. He was sitting there right beside me. And he knew. I didn't know. And he, um, my facial, he said my facial expression was just like I was in awe. I really didn't know what to say. I really would have committed on the spot, but I wanted to wait and do that with my family and the people that helped me get there around me. But it was definitely one of the uh, happiest moments of my life. But after you do that and that gets out, now suddenly there's maybe pressure on you to, to live up to the billing and live up to all the expectations? Yes, sir. Well, how would you handle that? Um, you know, uh, going into my junior year of high school, I had a lot of pressure on me because I thought, you know, I'm, a, I'm committed to Tennessee. I need to show why. And I think that's one of the reasons I, I had a successful junior and senior year. Um, you know, my coaches pushed me harder because of that, and I became a leader on the team. And it, it, it really was a blessing that I was offered so early because I think that helped prepare me for uh, college football. You were a class president, too. Yes, sir. Talk about, now that's not an easy job at times, too, because you've got to show leadership and things like that. But that seemed to be a natural for you. Um, yes, sir, it was. I really, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't able to do it uh, student council this my senior year. I was really wanting to come back and do it again. But since I was leaving early, I, I couldn't do it. But um, my freshman year, I was in student council a little bit. In my sophomore year, I decided to be a class president. It gets you to blend with other students. Oh, sometimes yes, sir. athletes get put over yes, here sir. and everybody else. And that got you to blend back and forth. Made you a better person, I'm sure. Oh, yes, sir. I, um, m my best friends back home aren't really, some of them are playing on the football team and stuff, but really, um, some of my best friends back home aren't like the most athletic guys. My best friend this past year was the class president over everybody. And um, I, I, yeah, I've definitely, I, I was in IB program for some of my high school career, and I, I enjoyed uh, every aspect of every people, or all people. I, it doesn't really matter to me, anything like that. Um, but I, like I said, I really enjoyed that experience and getting to know people that I may have not been able to get to know just playing football. That probably helps you too when you get here because you really don't, other than the football uh, players, you yes, don't know sir. anybody on this big campus. You don't, it's a, it's a huge campus, but I've been meeting people. I've, um, in my classes and stuff, um, emailing people, you know, trying to get extra help, meeting people at uh, Thornton Center, other athletes that don't just play football. And just, you know, at the UT campus, everyone's really friendly, and um, I've really enjoyed uh, getting to meet new people. And like the other day, uh, I was hanging out with Kurt Majit, and he took us out to eat lunch with um, Sarah and her, some of her friends. So, like, stuff like that. The new players help me meet new people, and it's just, it's been really great how they, they basically just have open arms and, um, I really like that. That's great. Now spring practice will be here before you know it. Talk about how important the spring practice is for you to get your Tennessee career off to a good start. Um, it's very important. It's probably one of the bigger reasons I came early. Um, spring practice is a big time to develop as a player and kind of show what I'm capable of doing. So I'm really going to take full advantage of it. I'm going to come every day, bring 110%, um, give my best effort, showing these coaches why they gave me this offer and um, maybe try to make an impact uh, on the team. Jack, good to have you here. Good luck as a Tennessee Thank volunteer. You. Thanks for having me.